Nick Kyrgios has claimed that Roger Federer is no longer in the race for the title of the greatest of all time. The Swiss maestro has not played since losing in the quarter-finals at last year's Wimbledon. The 20-time Grand Slam champion has been blighted by injury for the last two years and therefore his opportunities to try and add to his Grand Slam dally have been significantly limited. Since Federer's last Grand Slam triumph in 2018, Novak Djokovic has equaled his major tally while Rafael Nadal has surpassed them both to become the first man to win 21 Grand Slam titles. Taking this into consideration, along with the tennis legend's age and losing head-to-head -head record against his fiercest rivals, Kyrgios, who has played all three players multiple times, believes Federer is no longer part of the debate FPR the greatest male tennis player. Tennis journalist Luigi Gatto tweeted the Australian's quotes which read, Federer is done for me in the GOAT talks. He has a losing H2H record against both Nadal and Djokovic. If Rafa wins his 22nd major, he has got the crown. Federer has a 16-24 record against Nadal, although he has won seven of his last eight matches against the Spaniard. The 40-year-old is also trailing his rivalry against Djokovic 23-27, and has lost six of his last seven meetings with the Serbian, including the heartbreaking five-set loss in the Marathon 2019 Wimbledon final. Nadal will have a chance to extend his lead over his rivals in the Grand Slam countered Roland Garros in May. However, he may be joined by Djokovic who looks set to have the opportunity to equal the Grand Slam record in Paris after all. France's Prime Minister confirmed they would suspend their Covid vaccine pass rules from March 14. The government had already updated the border rules to allow unvaccinated individuals into the country from today. Prime Minister Jean Castex announced the news today, telling TF1, the health situation is improving. Mandatory masks in most places will be scrapped from March 14, along with the vaccine pass which originally denied Djokovic the chance to compete as it banned people from entering sporting venues unless they were fully vaccinated. The 34-year-old's participation at the Masters 1000 clay court event in Monte Carlo in April is also in doubt, but tournament director Jelko Franolovic is hopeful of seeing the former world's number at the event. If he meets the health requirements of the French government, we will be happy to host him, he said. We want to see Novak happy and healthy, and we want to see him play. We want the best players for the best tournaments and Monte Carlo is one of them. It's one of the most important events on the calendar. Honestly, we are hearing good news. We may be seeing the end of the tunnel. We're moving in the right direction to put this terrible pandemic behind us.